In this lesson, we're going to cover the difference between conversations and tickets. First of all, it's really easy to tell the difference between a conversation and a ticket in your inbox. Conversations are either unmarked or feature an arrow to show they've been replied to. Whereas tickets are always marked with one of these three icons that tell you which ticket category the ticket belongs to. A customer ticket, a back office ticket, or a tracker ticket. Before we explore these three ticket categories, let's take a step back for a second and explain why and when tickets are used. So when a customer gets in touch with a request, they usually want it resolved as soon as possible. They might talk with a bot first before having a conversation with someone like you. The problem here is that sometimes conversations go on for too long, which is a bad experience for everyone involved. That's why conversations should be used for requests that are short, and tickets should be used for those that are going to take longer. So let's take a look at those three ticket categories in more detail. Customer tickets are for complex, long-running queries where customers need to stay in the loop. Something like an insurance claim. You can turn a conversation into a customer ticket with this button here. Select from the ticket types you've set up and capture the necessary details. To save time, you can even send a ticket form directly to the customer. Hit Command K for your inbox shortcuts and select Send a Ticket Form and select from your ticket types. Your customer can then conveniently fill out the details right in the messenger. And whenever there's an update, customers are notified both in the messenger as well as in their email. For other requests, a back office ticket might be more appropriate. Let's say a customer reaches out about a refund request and you need help from the finance team to resolve it. Click here to create a back office ticket to loop them in. Once you've submitted it, the finance team can work on it in the background while you continue to manage the customer. Here, the thread between you and the back office team is kept private via notes though updates can be cross-posted to the original customer thread to keep frontline teams in the loop. Back office tickets are usually kept private, but if necessary, they can be shared with the customer. The third and final ticket category is the tracker ticket. Let's say multiple customers are reaching out about the same issue, like a bug or an outage. You can link all these conversations to a single tracker ticket for easy management. The tracker acts as a single source of truth for all linked conversations, making it easy for your teams to work together. And you can update all impacted customers in one go, so your team doesn't have to send individual messages. It's also worth noting that you can create tickets that aren't related to any existing conversations. This is useful for requests that haven't come through your intercom inbox, like from a meeting. So to capture this request, you can click here, select ticket, and select the right ticket type from your list and fill it out. Once again, conversations are better for issues that can be resolved in real time, whereas tickets are better for issues you know will take longer. To get started, head to Settings, select Ticket Types, and start creating tickets to make your support more efficient.